Guess what we're doing today? Look at you being Miss Perfect. And you two are definitely being the younger pups for sure. Thank you, <laughs> Uh, Alright you guys, today we are making some carob mint dog treats. Again, we have dad here helping to wrangle this puppy yes. until she figures out how this works. She's slowly getting it. St. Patrick's Day is coming so we thought we would do something fun and green and minty. Let's get to it before this puppy decides she's done with us. <laughs> You're gonna want to preheat your oven to 350. So the first ingredient we will be using today is one and a quarter cups of flour. I am using gluten-free flour. You can use all-purpose flour. You can use wheat flour. Pretty much any type of flour will work in this recipe. We're gonna go ahead and put this into our mixer. Don't eat that, you won't like it. Next, we will be adding one teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, make treats with puppies, they said. It'll be fun, they said. We're gonna put this right in here. Don't eat that, you won't like it. Now for a moment, we are just gonna mix these dry ingredients together. Now we're gonna set those dry ingredients aside and we're gonna mix together all of the wet ingredients. You are just like, I'm gonna get into everything today. So now I have my little blender here and we are gonna use this to mix together all of the wet ingredients. So the first ingredient is spinach. Do you guys want to grow up real big and strong? Because we're putting some spinach in this treat. You can go ahead and give them each a little bite of the spinach. I'm using frozen spinach just because it's easy to work with. What do you think? You like it. You like it. How about Miss Memphis? Memphis, do you like spinach? She's like, hmm, maybe I like it. Maybe you do? Puppy's like, whoa, I really yeah, like it. I know. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and add that in here. All of it. About a quarter of a cup of frozen spinach. Hey, you wanna lick that dish? Just some like frozen spinach pieces. So like, hmm, that's not so bad. So next, we will be adding about three to four fresh mint leaves because again, this is a mint recipe. You don't need a lot, just a few. If you don't have fresh mint, you can add just a little bit of dried mint. Look at them, they're all like, that one would eat it. Show it, show it to Memphis again. No, thank you. Now we're gonna go ahead, put that right in here. Just gotta put it in there so nobody can get it. Next, we will be adding a quarter of a cup of unflavored coconut cooking oil. You don't wanna lick this, trust me. It's gonna go right in here. I knew you were gonna try to lick it anyway. No, you can't lick it, you can't steal all the ingredients. Then we will be adding a quarter of a cup of water. That's just water, it's boring, trust me. Pour in the water. Now we're gonna go ahead and blend this up. So now that we have this pureed together, we are going to add a quarter of a cup of peanut butter. Who likes peanut butter? You all like peanut butter. We're gonna add that and we're gonna mix it just a little bit longer. Do you girls want a bite of peanut butter? I think, I think we can do that. Oh my goodness, peanut butter time. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look how gentle. <laughs> Here, I'll trick you. Here, I'll trick you. Here, I'll trick you. She's like, well, we get the whole jar? Memphis is like, oh, thank you. Kira's like, um, hey, I'm over here, Dad. Oh, I like some peanut butter, too. Oh, thanks. And yes, you guys, that is actually the dog's jar of peanut butter, so don't worry. And as I said, we're gonna mix it a little bit longer. The last, you don't want this, of the wet ingredients is one egg. I am actually gonna just drop it in here and spin that thing maybe twice, just to mix it in. You wanna lick the lid? <laughs> Holy cow, look, all three of you can do that one at once. That's what's going in your cookies. <laughs> Puppy's like, I'm in here too, guys, I'm in here too. And you guys clean that up pretty quick. <sighs> good girl, is that good? All right, we're gonna mix the green stuff into the, the dry stuff. The stuff's all together, now we're gonna mix it until it's like cookie dough, you see Kira? She's like, I'm gonna lick the bowl, I'm gonna lick all the things. Let's mix it up. We got some dough and now it's the best part. It's the lick the beater part. Memphis is like, um, hey, I'm well over here. Oh yeah, lick the beater. I can lick the beaters. That's the good part, huh? Okay, can you get it? There you go. How about you? They're like, this is the best part. Licking all the stuff. So now we're gonna take this out of here we're gonna get the dogs down. We're gonna take this out of here and we are gonna roll this out and cut it into cookies. 
So some of you at this point may be asking, but what about the carob chips? We have those. And what is this again, you guys? Carob, not chocolate. These are carob chips. Do not use chocolate chips in the dog treats. These are unsweetened carob chips. You could mix these into the dough, but carob chips don't melt the same way as chocolate. So we are actually gonna cut the cookies out and then put the carob chips on top. Also, if you add them to the dough, it'll turn your dough kind of brown. Are you cleaning her teeth for her? Thanks, that's very nice of you. All right, y'all need to get down so we can roll out some cookies. So we have our beautiful green dough ball. We are going to roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. So it's kind of a fragile dough. You want to make sure that after you flatten it, you can kind of push in the sides a little bit and pat it down. And then we're just going to go ahead and cut it into circles. So then as we put them on the tray, we're just going to take some of these carob chips and literally push them down into the top of the cookie. So we have arranged the cookies on a tray. Give them a little bit of space because they will kind of rise and spread out just a little bit. Now we're gonna put them in the oven. So now that the cookies are in the oven, we are going to let them bake for about 10 to 12 minutes. As always, you guys, these are a treat, not a meal replacement. Feed your dogs responsibly. And if you wanna see more of our St. Patrick's themed treat videos, there will be some links at the end of this video and down in the video description below. Are you ready to try them? Yeah, you, you got stuff on your face. <laughs> Let's get to trying some cookies. I think we did it. Oh, these turned out so cute. Time for the taste test. Ready to try them? Don't worry, you're gonna get one too. Are right, you ready? You look ready. You look so ready. You're like, oh my gosh, we are so ready. Puppy hasn't learned this yet, so she's gotta be held for a minute. Okay, one for you, one for you. And these are a soft cookie, you guys. These aren't supposed to be crunchy. They're supposed to be soft and crumbly. What do you think? Eleanor's like, where's mine? You get one, just a second. You ready to try one? All right, let's give Eleanor one. Are you ready to try one? All right, here we go. Oh man, a nice crumbly cookie. She's like, whoa, this is what we're doing? We're making treats? Yeah, good stuff. Eleanor, do you think that's a win? She's like, this is a total win. Kira's like, let me help you out here. <laughs> I'm gonna help you clean up these crumbs, thanks. There you have it, there are the carob mint dog treats. You can tell the dogs are like, we would like all the treat please. Eleanor is still learning not to get all the way on the counter when we do this. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell to turn on all notifications. And as I said, there will be some links on the screen to some of our other St. Patrick's Day themed treat videos. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, audience.